Welcome to the Superstar Sequence Editor. In this video we will demonstrate the advanced features of Supertext. Uh, we'll start by clicking on the ABC button and launching the text dialog box. Uh, we'll change the text to the word Mary and change to a bold, larger font. And we'll just click Add to get the default text action here and we see Mary going from top to bottom across the ribbons. Um, this is a basic text feature. We're going to cover the advanced text uh, negative mask feature today. Uh, so let's try clicking on negative mask, modify, and we will see that the white bar up here became a thinner white bar with little brackets on each end. And if we play this mask, we will get absolutely nothing because it is just a mask and uh, you need to apply some other effects to see anything happen. Uh, these little brackets indicate that the, the, the mask is to encompass other effects. So we'll start out by bringing up the scene dialog box and we'll just um, set the color beginning and end color red and do control mouse click to set all these pixels to red and click add and uh, if we I'm going to move him to the other side here if we play this what we get is the mask gets applied to the foreground of the text and we see red Mary now uh, if we move this effect to the other side of the mask that's the background side so this time we're going to see red background and black Mary uh, shining uh, going uh, appearing through the uh, the red background uh, now we of course could add another scene and move him to the other side and change his color to yellow and now when we play it we get yellow text on top of a red background now there's some cool things we can do with this. We could uh, change this foreground to go from black to red. Modify. We go click this guy in the background and have him go uh, from black to red. Modify. So now the background's going from black to red. The foreground's going from red to black. So when we play it, we get this. I think that's pretty cool. Let's play it one more time. Now, uh, if we wanted to, we of course could, uh, you don't have to have this go the entire length. You can uh, have this be too short scenes. We modify there. We modify that guy. And then we could select both of these. Copy. Paste. And now when we play them, we get So this is a good chance to show the uh, group modify feature. If we select both of these and change um, the color to green, we say click group modify, click OK, and now you can see that the end color of both these guys turned green. So when we play this, we get red on top of green. Now that's pretty cool, but we can uh, do it with other effects also. So let's um, let's delete all these scenes and bring up the morph dialog box. If we just add the default morph here and fix his time here, um, I'm going to move him to the other side because I like to show the foreground first. This, of course, is going to wipe across the foreground of the text. Um, we could add another one and move 
him to the other side. But we could change his direction to go from top to bottom. Modify. And when we play this, what do we get? We get the background uh, going upward and the foreground going downward. Let's see that again. So, again, we could uh, copy these. Paste. I got to got to shorten these guys. We can use the little little feature here that shortens them by a, a notch there, and then now we can copy them and paste. Now, if we play them, we of course just get two sets of these. Now, if we want to, we can use group modify to make the background go the other direction. I'm going to go from left to right this time. Group modify. OK. And now the background it goes from left to right. And the foreground goes across like that. Of course, we could see that a little easier if we changed the foreground color. So I'm going to change. Go group modify and change the foreground color to green. So you can see with, with all these features you can do some incredibly cool effects in a very short period of time. Um, and uh, you can do a, a variety of things. I've got a, a file saved here that is called Text Mask Fun. Um, this file is in the uh, demo version that you can download. You just go, let's see, he does that green thing, and wow, 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 he just goes crazy. Now there's another, uh, let's, let's try that again. There we go. Now there's another file um, that demonstrates that you can do uh, regular text uh, behind a mask text. Um, what we have here is a text mask right here of Mary. This is a morph going from top to bottom on the foreground and this is some regular text that's going to go from uh, upper left to lower right. So if we play this what we get is Merry Christmas. Now is that cool or what? I'm going to try it again. Merry Christmas! And that concludes our uh, little tutorial for today. And I uh, thank you for your time and have a super day.